Origami with Friends, and I'm here with the legendary Dave Scott. And uh, how's it going, Dave? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. You've been like the number one supporter of the show. The only one, until recently, someone emailed just to see if I was all right. But the only one to <laughs> email uh, see, Origami with alive. Friends. Yeah. Uh, origami with Friends at uh, gmail.com if anybody's interested. Um, I'm glad to have you on here, though, because... Yeah. You, you were a teacher, right? Yes. For the longest time. And yes. You're probably one of the more popular ones, I imagine. Yes. I, t I made learning kind of fun. We would, yeah. we would have, we'd get giggly in the class. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, did you uh, work your comedy out on your class? No, you pretty I... pretty much had like, like how long were you a teacher? That had, that's pretty much practice in the comedy right there. Yeah, that's why I got into comedy, because I would do jokes during class. But they were stupid jokes. Yeah, but you... But that's the type of room, though, those work in, and you kind of have to do. So you already <laughs> well, knew how to read your audience. Funny you should mention that, because one student have a, had a recording of a cricket. Yeah. And he would just wait for me to tell a joke, and then he'd play the cricket. You had hecklers. Cricket sound. You know, and I, I was laughing so hard about how to take a knee. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah but they like, they like my little comedic breaks. Oh, yeah. It's, so, yeah, you, you've... Uh, come up the hard way then because <laughs> yeah, that's right. how old were the how old Tougher. was the audience i taught college so oh but college? it was night school so oh, i'd get yeah. them from 25 on up okay so that's so you you deal you can deal with those audiences in a regular show right well like like yesterday i was at a nursing home performing yeah oh, not yeah. A, not a lot of laughs at <laughs> nursing homes no not a lot of applause <laughs> But, I'm just uh, glad you're there well yes they're glad i'm glad i'm yeah. there and we're all glad we're there but uh, it was extraordinary in that no one fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. That, so that was a good set. But even if they do, you can't really blame it on your set. That's true. Sometimes yeah. it's right after lunch and they yeah. just drop like flies. Yeah. yeah. There's, a sweet, there's a sweet spot there right between lunch and before like nap time. You got to catch yeah. them at. Yeah, exactly. So I know you love to wear hats and stuff. And so we're going to differ. We're not going to do the uh, Harry Potter uh, for this episode. We're going to do uh, an army cap. Right here, because uh, you were in the army. Uh, That's right. I was. What'd you uh, What'd you do in the army? I was. Uh, well, my my branch was military intelligence. Yeah, I know. It's not. What do you call that when it doesn't make sense? Oxymoron. Uh, oxymoron. Uh, but I never actually worked in intelligence. I was in a training brigade, and we were training soldiers to get ready to go to Vietnam. Oh man. But Vietnam was winding down, so that whole training thing fell apart. And then we got ready to get the 9th Infantry Division, which was coming back from yeah. Vietnam. So we basically, you know, swept the holes and you know, made sure the toilets worked and stuff. It's better than going to Vietnam. Absolutely. No question. <laughs> Way better than going to Vietnam. No question. So would you like to uh, pick your color for your uh, oh, army, army cap? Army green, of course. Army green. Let's see. You got an olive drab. What about, look at this right here. It, it's perfect. And since I was not in the army, I can choose any color I want. You can choose navy blue if you want. Oh yeah, there you go. Or marine, uh, whatever the marines are. Yeah, my gra mar marine. Oh, there you go. My, my grandfather was marine. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad because uh, when I would uh, drive his truck, it has marine stuff, and then people would congratulate me, and For I'd your... have to go. I'd have to go through the thing like, oh, it's not mine. But I'd rather do that than to get caught on like Stolen Valor. Yes. You ever see that website? No. There's a website, uh, I don't know if it's StolenValor.com, but you can just Google Stolen Valor and they'll have videos of, there's people out there that'll fake, uh, to like wear a fake military garb to just get, I don't know, just to get the discounts or just the congratulations. And they were never in the military. They'll be wearing like a uh, Marine hat, but with like an army shirt, yeah, like that's so not then right. people no, that know. No, that's not good. Yeah. yeah I mean, that tends to piss off Marines. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. They're, they're kind of touchy about that. Especially when you just get into it, you know? And then we'll, uh, with my great uh, timing, we'll get into this. So here, if anybody wants to find out how I did this, I'll post the link up. But I just Googled uh, origami hats, and then this will come up. I'll just show you again. I'm actually starting to learn to put pictures in the videos now to uh, break up the monotony. It is a visual medium. After it that. is, yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fold it in half. I'm so glad this is a simple one because I, 
I watched your uh, episode with Ty Clay. Oh yeah. And he wound up doing a fire breathing dragon. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, that like one was that. a little difficult. No kidding. About step forty seven out before I got lost. So now we unfold and then we make a crease going the other way. Because I notice a lot of these folds are just making creases to introduce folds in later steps. Got it. So far, I'm, I think I'm keeping up. Good. This is, uh, this is good. Now we have the, it looks like we have the, uh, the opening down. We have it still in the fold. And then uh, it looks like we... Uh, I'm relying yeah. heavily on your expertise here. Now I wonder if I have like the right paper for this. I wonder if I have the right. I hope this is uh, big enough, but we'll find out. So this may be a yeah a, an odd looking army hat. Yeah, it might. That's all right. You know, sometimes we end up going off books on here, but it has. That's how it happens. Now this will look. Yeah, so far it's looking like a sailor's hat. Yeah. Well, By the I way, wonder, this is... It looks like I need. I might need to have, like, oblong paper, and I have, like, perfectly square that's paper. That's fine. That's fine. I'm kind of square when it comes to... That, that's a fair stuff. point. Square dancing, you know? Yeah. Do you square dance? Uh, no. I got a guy at work who square dances. That's how he met his girlfriend. Really? Yeah. I didn't... I've actually gone square dancing a couple times. I didn't like it because those crinoline skirts are really scratchy. Well, also, uh, the same guy, I guess they found, like... It's uh, not true. It might be true. It could be true. Knowing Dave, it could be true. Uh, the guy that liked to go square dancing, they found like 100 dead cats in his basement. <laughs> well, there you are. That's very, <laughs> there you are. That's very true. And he said he didn't know they were all down. That's there. right. He thought so, there were only 67. Yeah, he, he was said, stunned. He said, my, my son collects cats. I didn't know there were that many. And so he, got, he literally got kicked out of a town. He got kicked out of his town. Well, right there. can you blame him, really? <laughs> if you don't know there's 100 dead cats in your basement... Oh, you know what? I just I just folded it. I mean, it wrong. 60, 70, yeah, but not 100. All right. So I just what? folded it wrong. So I think we got to go a little wider on this fold. Really? Yeah. Because we need to keep space. All so right. Yeah, so we're now it's looking more like an army thing than a yeah. navy thing. All right. And you know, sometimes oh, it's as you get not. <laughs> You're not looking at the, the world's best folder of things. Hey, you know what? That's. Well, that's one of the reasons why I did this, though, because I looked on uh, origami videos, yeah. and they're all time-lapse, and they're all done perfect. I, exactly, and yeah. And then how do you do it? And then even the ones that aren't time-lapse, it's still, you have to stop and pause and stop. And here, we stop right in the middle of the video, so it gives you plenty of time to catch up. Oh, good. So we got that. Can you do a time-lapse video of this whole... I'm not... I'm not that good yet. It'll I'm make still us, learning. It'll make us look uh, professional and quick. Yeah. So we move this. Oh, that's just, there's no hope. This is going to. But the whole point is, it's not professional. And that's what well, makes no it kidding. fun. No kidding. All right. So okay. once you get there, you fold this, this bad boy up. All right. And then I think you turn it over. <laughs> there are only eight steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> In making this army hat, and we're stuck on step three. Oh, when me and Mitch uh, did it, we didn't Yikes. even get past, like, because some of them you have to build a certain base before you can right, build it, right. and then me and Mitch got stuck on the base, and we're like, oh, we're going to do a boat. <laughs> so sometimes That's we good. do have to call an audible on these. Given, given time, every origami will be a paper airplane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's how it goes. So, so we turn it over, and then I, get, I think we uh, bend it back. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I screwed up then. Yeah, I think we, yeah. Cause it into the middle? Way. Yeah, into the middle. No, not to the middle. Yeah, yeah, way. Not quite to the middle. There you go. Okay, there you go. I see what you're talking about. Like this? Or am I on the wrong side? Uh, no, because it, it told us to flip it over, and so now we got that. All now, right. Now we got that back. Step three, and I'm confused. It's not auger okay. will. Origami isn't as easy as people like to think it is. So I think we just go like that. This almost kind of looks like a, a starting to look like the Pope's hat, though. We fold this down, and I think we fold it in. So I think this this folds in, and then we fold this over that. All right. Just like that. Fair enough. Now, mind you, I'm not a professional at origami either. So no. All the oh, you could have fooled me. 
All the instructions I could be saying may not be 100% accurate. Well, we'll see. Like I said, everything becomes a paper airplane. Yeah. Given time. So which, how, how many uh, of these folding shows have you done here? This is number 19. So I'm, your, I'm basically your 19th favorite comedian. Yeah, yeah, you're there. You're top 20. Top 20. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. See, and you know, I think even in... Uh, like college sports, they got the top 25. That, good point. So you're like, you're yeah, six. Yeah, but, but there are a heck of a lot more college teams than there are Kansas City comedians. That's true. That's true. I was waiting for the right time so to I'm place like, you onto... I'm in like the upper 60% is you what are. you're saying. You are. I think that's, that's, that's good. That's I think that's very right. comforting. Good. I'm glad anyway. you see it the same way. <laughs> so now we so take fun. these and then we fold them up to create that kind of... Uh, how far up? As far as you can, mine aren't going up that far. But I think this all tucks under here, I'm imagining. Really? Yeah, oh, okay. And then, well, you eventually, I'm gonna have to, because then once you get those folded up, you fold this up. Now you're hitting And it's it. supposed to tuck under there. But we might just use some glue. Because then it's supposed to be cheating. Like this, right? I mean, all in favor. I've of cheated cheating. on a few of these. All right. So you got what was you probably had people. What did what? First off, what did you teach? I taught uh, statistics and uh, algebra and data processing. Oh, so you're a math guy. Yes. So what is a? I'm sure you've had you taught people cheating in your class, right? No, not really, because I would let them do homework uh, together. Oh. It's funny. This one time, this one guy. Uh, could not wait to take the quiz. And so there were like 10 students in the class. So he would take the quiz and then all the other students would gather around and see what answers he put in. Yeah. And he didn't care. He just, he'd, he'd get like 60% and everybody else would go, all right. <laughs> They'd all get 100, except for him. Yeah. He's like, he never learned. He said, just, just don't jump right in. I recently had a class where they did that group uh, testing. And I actually did really good in that class. It was nice. It's, it's nice to anyway, have people to work on. No coronavirus for me, boys no, and girls. No, I am. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna wait for the Miller Light virus. Yeah. Ooh, you can wait for a better virus than that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I should probably the wait Miller for the Miller High it. Life virus. There you go. That's, that's the one you go want. all out. Yeah. The Hams virus. So <laughs> once you uh, get those corners, fold this bad boy up. All right. And then basically. That's supposed to tuck in there, but it can't. So we can use some uh, rubber cement. Unless you can get yours tucked in there, can you? No, you can't. So we'll use some rubber cement. Wait a minute. It's supposed to, oh, I see, you're supposed yeah. to tuck. We'll see, right here. So it's supposed to be long enough, since we didn't have a long paper, that is supposed to actually tuck into those lips. Where we, you see how those lips are? This is supposed to be long enough to tuck in there. Ah. But since it won't, we'll just do a little glue. Cause then but it's then it's supposed to open up? No, it's not. It, yeah, it's supposed to. Uh, Mine doesn't open up. What's wrong? No, it does. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, we're back to the army. Yeah. So let's. Uh, Would you ever you sniff glue in class? I never did. I didn't eat it either. I was a straight arrow, sad yeah. to say. It was only in my later years that I learned to be uh, off the rails a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah do you ever? Do you ever? Have you ever told a dirty joke? Oh yeah. I have an entire dirty set. I do one. A, a dirty no, five-minute joke that I that I do like once a year under special circumstances. The last time I did it, uh, Stephen Taylor was laughing so hard he about fell out of his chair. It went, it went well. He needs to fall out of his chair. Yeah. What was that last thing I saw on Facebook about him? Oh, he doesn't wash his hands. That's, yeah. that's what I hear. Unverified. Well, he'll be on this show. So, oh, really? Yeah. Well, make sure he washes his hands. You know, he's a teacher. Yes, that's uh, right. He teaches like junior high school kids. Do you have any uh, advice for Steven Taylor? No, I never. I always taught adults because I didn't yeah. want to mess with, you know, raging hormones. Or Sally said this and Jeannie said that, and I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a supervisor of adults, and I still deal with that. Yeah, yeah. No, I taught students who actually wanted to be there. That gave me a distinct advantage. Yeah, that does. I help. could threaten them. I could say, "Do this, or you're in trouble," and they do it. God, this is great. I worked at a store selling things, and I was a lot better at selling things working at a store when people were coming in to buy 
than trying to, I've tried a door to door job. Yeah. I don't know how anybody, I guess back in the day when that was the only thing and people were like, oh, there's someone new coming to the door. I'll talk to them. And they'd open, they would yeah. actually open the door, yeah, yeah, right? Come in, I yeah. just made some cookies. But now nobody wants to talk to anybody. No, they you didn't. They don't open the door. Well, first they're not there, and second, they, if they were, they wouldn't open the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little. Tape. I actually had a couple of these young Mormon missionaries come to my door uh, the other day, and uh, and they said, "Well, good evening, sir, and how are you doing?" I said, "I'm doing fine." And he said, "We're going door to door and convincing, you know, trying to convince people to give their lives to Jesus Christ." I said, "Well, have fun. Close the door," and they were just. I could just see him as I closed the door. There was just, <laughs> hello, hello. Oh man, we actually had some up in our hallway there as we were trying to get the door open with groceries. Oh, that good timing. Yeah. Luckily though, the groceries kind of gave us our out. Yeah. So there is your hat. I got oh, this man. tape oh, on to dry it, dry it out of that. Oh, there you are. Oh man, I was so I was hat. spent so much time worrying yeah. about this origami project, and this is, as far as I can tell, the best army hat ever probably i mean this is the second best army hat well ever. that looks more like i show the people up there i gotta justify having that camera <laughs> there it is <laughs> spent seven hundred dollars on that camera by golly yeah. you're gonna use it <laughs> I, got, I gotta justify it somehow <laughs> that's it with the uh, with the accounting firm you want to hang that bad boy up on the are we hat? done yeah just in this part all right that was a little quick one Put it right next to who's yeah, the apple is it? That is uh, Aaron Naylor's oh, fantastic apple. Not bad, Aaron. Yeah. Not, but it cannot compare no. with the perfect army hat. So now I have this theory that everybody in America has made a paper airplane before as a kid. Did you ever make paper airplanes as a kid? Oh, sure, we didn't. Exactly. That's what Monisha, but, but Monisha did. Actually, well, I'm, I'm sold that uh, what we made a, we made uh, paper biplanes. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That means that That's how old he is. Two wings with struts in between them. Okay, I know what it means now. I got it. It's one of those things. It's one of those things you've seen but you don't know what it's called. So we're gonna no, make. It's a, it's a plane that could go either way. <laughs> so you being no. a biplane. Look at that! Huh? You told the dirty joke. There it is. Look at that! It this went, is history made. It went forwards and backwards, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, it's a biplane. Could go either way. So what you show you me. You're gonna show me uh, your paper airplane. Oh, I leave. Is, I leave these on. Oh, you do. All right. Yeah, I'm a nostalgic guy, so I let the person like tear it off or whatever, because that's part of. That's how you would make paper airplane. So you have to tear it. Part of the origami experience. It is part of the origami experience. <laughs> wow, you are dealing with somebody who needs some some uh, remedial instruction yeah. here. Well, you'll get anyway. it. Yes. Just practice makes perfect. You just gotta get your ten thousand hours. <laughs> That's right. I'm not certified paper airplane. Okay. You're, are you gonna make one like I'm making, or are you gonna? Yeah. Make, I'm gonna have you teach me. Because you've made eight, at point, this point, you've made eighteen of these, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The first few of them, I just did mine, and they would never fly. And so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna have the guest show me theirs. Fair enough. Because I would be doing the same one every time. That's right. So. You should be really good at it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Not as good as the army hat yeah, right next to this fabulous apple. The the apple. T H E apple. Oh, is this the famous? That is, is that uh, the Phoenix. Yeah, it's Ty's Phoenix. Good gravy. There's a uh, mirror's hippogriff. Those are so complicated. Yeah. Wow. I know. Good thing I wasn't doing one of those. Oh, they get really... Uh, Yikes. That's half the reason why I chose a hat, because they're, they're, <laughs> they're getting so difficult now. They're like four lightning bolts. It's because of me. And yeah, and because of you. That's right. You knew right away. So, uh, you, oh, I, I got your email on, you guessed the uh, right. Bambi thing, and yeah, you did I, not get it correct. I, I, it's what I There's hear. There's a few people didn't get it correct. Do you want another guess? Here, let me repeat the question for everybody. And you can uh, email your answer to origamiwithfriends at gmail.com to be entered in a drawing to win some cool uh, Disney gear. You won't get this sweet Disney mask. He's already uh, used, using that. That was his. He brought that with him. I did not have a Disney mask. Because, you know, Corona. Exactly. So here's a question. <laughs> here's a question. <laughs> In the movie Bambi, 
there are two animals named Bambi. One was Bambi. Who is the other one? I'll give you a hint. It is not a leech. Mm -mm. There's no leech. So we can rule out leeches right, no off, leeches. The, right off the top. There's no leech. And then uh, I think Miguel guessed uh, it was uh, Bambi's mother. And so it was not Bambi's mother. Mm. So there you're getting a couple uh, knocked off there. But I was will... it any type of shellfish? No, no shellfish. Right, we've eliminated uh, by this, cuspids. This, we're not doing an elimination game here. Dude. All right, you, all right. you gotta go for it. You gotta go for greatness. No, no hints. Yeah. All right. It's not a shellfish. Just so saying. We're folding these corners back. So one thing I noticed too: all the paper airplanes are kind of standard. After a while. Well, they got. Pointy. Well, see, They're pointy in the front, and the yeah. rest is uh, not. I'm gonna be on an airplane on uh, Saturday. Now, if, let me tell you: if you stop right here, technically, this is a paper airplane. Yeah. But we can do better. Yeah, we want them to, of course. We're gonna fly them at the end in the All darkness. Right. It's, it's totally dark out. There's no. I need to get glow in the dark paper. There's no moon. It's. There's some artificial light. There's no ambient light. Okay, pull them again. So just straight down or yeah, at an just, angle? Just the same. Like that? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yours is actually looking better than mine for some reason. Well, I am a professional. Oh. <laughs> so not a shellfish. Huh? No, no shellfish. So not an oyster. No. Not a clam. Not a mollusk. Is a mollusk a... Oh, that's a good question. I believe so. But what that's, about a... That's a Google that, uh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, and email me at origamiwithfriendsgmail.com. What's, uh, what's that other uh, uh, seafood scallop? Is scallop? Yeah. Is that or, a shellfish? Uh, I, that's it. Once again. Awesome. But you know what? If somebody could just email me a com comprehensive list of shellfish at origamiwithfriendsgmail.com. So, we, and then once... I will forward the answers to Dave. Please. And uh, once you do that, we'll learn whether or not a, uh, the word is escaping me at the moment. Barnacle. Is a barnacle a shellfish? Yeah, yeah, maybe like a, you know what a barnacle probably is? You know locusts, when they leave their shells on trees? I wonder if that's what a barnacle is. Huh. Like a, it's like a, a shellfish that leaves its, like, skin or just, I don't know, I'm dumb. But let know. me know if I'm on to something. But I'm guessing they would not be in the forest. No, definitely. With bamboo. No. No. That's a guess. Unless Bambi like got like crossed with uh, Peter Pan or something. I think keep going. Yeah, it's, once again, technically, technically, this is a paper airplane. Yeah. But we can do better. Take it one oh, more. Wait, there's more. Let's there's more. Again. Yeah. And this bad boy will fail miserably, but it looks cool. I don't know. These, these uh, air, narrow ones seem to always do better. I think the more you uh, fold the paper and you kind of add a little weight to it. Well, then the, the front really outweighs the back, so yeah. it tends to dive right into the dirt. Well, luckily, we're going to be on asphalt. Oh, well, there you are. So, so th is there any way, uh, if people want to follow your comedy journey, is there any way they can follow well, you? Well, you are so considerate of your guests. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, is he not the most considerate guest I, I, the host. I try to be. I generally I started wonderful. out not listening very well, and now what? I, yeah, exactly. And now I'm still not listening that great, but a little better. Yes, you can go to my website, davidgscottcleancomedy.com, and check out uh, pictures of me and my schedule coming up. And, my schedule and all this prop comedy. Do you have any? Uh, you have any show coming up now? This will be released on Friday. Oh, yeah. I'm going so. with uh, Michael Joyner, who's another clean comedian. We're going to Paducah, Kentucky to make people laugh. And then in the uh, first part of April, I'll be going with uh, Will C., comedian Will C., Will Clifton, to perform at a veterans, uh, disabled American veterans competition. What are they competing in? Uh, winter sports. Oh wow! Yes, watching these guys go down the the slopes. They, they, but the ones what they do is they it's a it's an amazing thing. They strap them into this sled. They the ones that cannot use their yeah. legs, and then they go down the slope in these sleds. And if and if they can they can actually get it by just by leaning to get it to go back and forth. Yeah. But they have to have two guys with them. They have one guy that's actually tethered to the sled. 
So if he starts heading for a tree, the guy behind him Just can slow him down yeah. or stop him. Yeah. And then behind those two is another guy. In case the sled falls over, it'll take two of them to set it back up. Oh, yeah. So you see the sled, and then you see two guys going down the mountain behind him. And it's just... Where is this at? It was. It's in Snowmass, uh, Colorado. It's, it's oh, uh, okay. up in the mountains. Okay, yeah, it'd have to be to get some snow. Yeah, this and, time uh, yeah it's not in Denver. It's just wonderful to see these disabled veterans yeah. living their, their full life. Well, and you always see that, like... Uh, they just get forgot. Everyone's a fan when it's time to go to war, but then when they come back home, no one remembers them. Uh, when, and and I, last time I performed there was two years ago, and I just remember a guy right down front in a wheelchair with no legs, mm. just laughing his butt off. He was having the best time. He was just roaring with laughter. And I still get chills thinking about it. Very inspiring. Yeah. to see uh, these disabled veterans living their best life. Well, yeah, the fact that you can guy. still find happiness after having all that stuff happen to you, and then yeah, you come back and everything's everything you know is thousands of miles in another country. Yeah. You know? Yeah, these guys, these guys were extraordinary human beings. Very proud to be part of that. Oh, yeah, that'd be very cool. I'll post, uh, I'll post all that information up on the video thank and you. everything. Thank uh, you. Well, uh, thank Once you. Once again... I do what I can. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, coming. Oh, it's, um, it's been a I'm, delight. I'm glad to have you on, and if you're, uh, if you're out in L.A., I'll uh, have you back on. You didn't know. You're moving to L.A.? I am. When? Soon. All Soon right. Again, in a couple months. Uh, are you ready really? to go fly these? Yes, yeah. but I'm, I'm stunned. I know. We're going to leave See, everyone off in a cliffhanger. Here's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. You, cut, you, get in, you start in Kansas City. You get really good. And then you leave. I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually skipping the really good part. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Cut the middle band. Yeah, I just go <laughs> straight to LA. We'll see you guys outside. <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, watching another episode. Uh, thanks again for uh, Dave Scott for joining us. Uh, do you have anything else to say? No. Perfect. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> see how these throw. Oh, that's oh really yeah, good. baby. Yes! How was your experience on Origami with Friends? This was so much fun. The time just flew by. Uh, Brenda said it was a half hour. I said, you kidding me? I thought it was 15 minutes. This was a lot. Thank you so much. Would you recommend uh, to your friends to watch uh, Origami with Friends? Absolutely. And if you have the chance, please do another army hat because that is guaranteed success.